playing some fucking CSGO ropes. Ropes. Fucking helicopters and shit. Fucking war zone out here in this bitch. Oh, nice ass lady. Oh, yeah. Oh, bend over for me. Oh, yeah. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot about this shit. God damn it. Fucking the Aris parking his goddamn car in here. Fuck. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, got it out. Oh, man. Oh, I did it. Fucking did it. So, I don't know how this mic is gonna sound. I just got it and just did everything set up. Um, so hopefully it sounds right. I got no fucking idea how it's gonna sound. But hopefully it's okay. So bear with me if it's terrible. So you wanna know how to pass the MSF course. That's good, man. You came to the right video. You came to the right video. This right here is fucking terrible. It's it's like an old person's home. So everyone fucking pulls out and they're like 90 years old and they can't see me. It's uh it's annoying, but you know, it is what it is. That'll be a, uh, a wind test. I'm sure it's probably windy as fuck in there. I have no idea though. It's not that bad in my helmet, like I can't really tell. So I got no idea how it sounds. Hopefully it's nice. Um, but like I said, I don't know. So uh, let me start off by saying, when I took the MSF course, I was 17 years old, and um, I was the only one to get a perfect score on the test. Uh, Perfect score means I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, whatever, you guys know what a perfect score means. Um, so hopefully I can kind of help you guys out with this uh, since you're probably new to writing, if you're watching this. Um, first things first, do not be concerned uh, about the t about you know the written test or anything really. Do not be concerned, it's not a big deal. Your, your guide will help you through everything, absolutely everything. Uh, it, so when you first get there, you're going to come and they're going to put you in a fucking classroom. And you're going to be there for a while. So you're going to be in this classroom for a while. And um, by a while, I mean, I think it's a total of six hours. So you'll be in a classroom for six hours doing jack shit pretty much just sitting there listening to the instructor and what he's saying um, just, just literally just sitting there and listening and you know going through his fucking book and highlighting shit and oh it's a blast it's a fucking blast it's the best way to use your time <laughs> but no don't don't stress the classroom um, it's gonna be long it's gonna be boring so you know Bring water. Uh, I don't know about what your classroom will look like, but mine had snacks, like mints and shit like that. Um, that kind of thing. So, just be prepared. It's going to be long. It's going to be boring. And um, you're going to be there for a while. You're not going to be writing yet. So, the, the first day, you're not going to do much writing. Uh, so, just listen to what the instructor's saying. Listen to what's going on, and you will be more than great. Uh, when it comes to the written test, the written test is fucking nothing. It is absolutely easy. It's, it's, it's honestly just common sense. At least to me, it's common sense. Um, it, it's probably common sense to a lot of people. Like if you have street smarts and you know, you did pretty well on your car driving test, then you're gonna do great on this test. It's fucking easy. It's simple. Like I said, it's just listen to what your instructor says. If your instructor repeats things a lot then you know remember what he's repeating because it probably will come up on the written test um, I scored perfect on the written test didn't miss anything 
Um, but they want you to pass, guys. They really want you to pass. They, you know, they're not there to make you fail. So just listen to what they're saying and um, don't don't sweat it. That's that's the biggest thing I can tell you is don't sweat it. There's no reason to go in there um, upset at all. You're not upset, but you know, there's no reason to go in there stressed out and worried. Just don't fucking sweat it. It's not a big deal. Now, when it comes to the writing part, when it comes to the writing part, do not stress that part either. It's very simple. They will tell you everything you need to know. Um, it's 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 seriously extremely simple, guys. It's common sense. Um, and and I know people fear you about dropping the bike and shit like that. Uh, really, don't worry about dropping the bike. Because if it's not the test, they're not going to fail you for dropping it. So don't don't stress it. It's like I said. Listen to what your instructors have to say. Listen to what's going on. It, that's really all you have to do is just listen and you know stay hydrated. I, I live in Florida, so it was really fucking hot during the test, and just it was miserable. But um, so the first day you're going to be in the classroom for a while, you know, doing jack shit, learning, listening to the instructor, listening to the instructor, and uh, then you're going to take the written test. And like I said, that's extremely easy. It's the easiest part of the entire thing. Don't stress the fucking written test. Um, and then, then you guys are going to go out on the course for a little bit, uh, just doing stupid stuff like, you know, clutch control things, like, you know, let it out slowly, walk the bike, that kind of shit. And um, that day, that day is extremely easy. Don't worry about, you know, anything. Like I said, if you, if, you're really not going to drop a bike, man. They're, they're 250 cc's, they're small, they're lightweight, they're extremely agile. Don't have to worry about dropping them. I mean, it's, it's, you'd really have to fuck around and not pay attention to drop one of these bikes. So come on, buddy. Fucking really? That's a fucking loud ass truck. What the hell? I didn't know a Frontier could get that loud. Now I'm stuck behind this fucking big ass thing. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So yeah, don't don't stress anything. Don't worry about it. It's not a not a big deal. Uh, the first day, you know. Uh, I keep repeating myself here, but the first day, the fucking you take the court. I mean, you take the written test and all that shit. It's not even a big deal. And then. Um, and after that, you go out on the course for a little bit, not much the first day, and you know, you just do stupid shit like clutch control and that thing, um, that sort of shit. <clears throat> and then the second day is completely on the course, like it's just complete course. Um, I want to talk to you guys about the box. Everyone is scared about the box. Guys, the box is not even that scary. Honestly, I was in complete fear. I was like, oh my God, how am I going to do the box? I don't know what I'm going to do. Ah. And then I take the box test and I killed it. I, I messed it up once, I think. They let you practice a million times. Like they, you practice so much. So you get a lot of practice in. So you're going to get a lot of practice in and the instructor will talk to you. He'll be like, all right, does anyone need any more practice or are we good to you know continue to the next thing? If you actually need more practice, tell him. You know, don't don't be afraid to speak up and be like, yeah, I, I need to practice the box or I need to practice the turning or whatever. You guys are gonna go through a lot of practicing and um, the actual test part is only like three things out of the like you know the 28 things or whatever that you learned. So and they're really not hard at all. It's the quick stop, the box, and the cornering. That's it. Quick stop, box, cornering. Very easy, it's it's not a big deal. So if you guys are concerned about that, do not worry about it. it it's it's extremely simple. And uh, look at all these jixers. Look at Chill! I had to do that for Baker. I love that motherfucker. Chill! Ready? Chill! He's got headphones on, he can't hear me. <laughs> Uh, but if you want to know, this is my first bike. It's a 2009 Yamaha R6, black and gold. It was a uh, Raven edition, but it's got a lot of gold aftermarket things as you can see by the handles and all that. Um, 
It's a sexy bike, I love it. I will, if you guys want to know why I chose the 600 as my first bike, I will let you know. Um, just, just leave me a comment asking me. So, um, I think that pretty much covers it. So yeah, like I said, don't be stressed. Do not worry about it. It's not a big deal. It's very, very easy. And just, just have fun. Make it fun. Like the cornering is actually really fun. If you've never ridden a bike before and you take the cornerings, it's very, very fun. Okay, he waved to me. I was concerned for a minute that he was going to be a dickhead. <laughs> so yeah, guys, don't stress it at all. There's no reason to stress it. It's not a big deal. It's very, very easy. The instructors are there to help you. Like I said, they want you to pass. So they're not going to fail you over some stupid shit. So just have fun, enjoy it, and uh, good luck. It's easy. And then you'll be on two wheels like me. Fuck yeah. This is, uh, everyone comes here on their bikes. It's a beautiful area to ride. Fucking bus. Piece of shit bus! I'll show you guys this area really quick. So much opportunity here for chairs. Look, look at look at all these look at these jigsaw riders. So much opportunity for chairs. Chair, chair. I can't even do it. I don't know how to do it. I can't do it like Baker, man. Oh man, look at that sexy motherfucker. Oh, in that beach body. Yeah, I'm surprised there's not more bikes out here. This is uh, it's a very beautiful area. Everyone comes out here and rides. It's fucking... It's great. It's great, guys. It's really fucking good. It's so great. Can't even hear myself, so I don't know what I sound like when I try to do the buckle out when I can't fucking hear myself. And I got some good Hey, so you go, wanna race? Wanna race? Oh, I can race these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, this area is absolutely awesome. So, like I said, guys, if you want to see more vlogs from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this and it helped you, go ahead and hit the like button. And uh, I would love for you to keep me updated on how your MSF course went. Um, so let me know everything. Let me know everything. I want to know about your whole life, where you live, where you eat. I want to know where you sleep, how many hours you sleep a day. I want to know it all. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, all right. I kind of, kind of skinny. A little too skinny for my likes. So let me know what you guys want to see, and uh, I will be sure to make that for you. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, Hail Hydra.